Society Stitchers. I'm Katie. I'm Laura. And we are having a fun stitching day. We it are. It is day 22 of the nice list of December. Mm hmm Okay, so what did they get today? Oh, they got an exclusive Winter Project sticker set designed by the Black Needle Society. Have a winter finish? Fill this out and stick to your framed, finished winter pieces. I think Katie's opening up to show you all the different ones. Yeah, so we sent a set of um, project stickers like this in our Stars Hollow Box, and everybody was really excited about them. So we thought it would be a fun thing to include in this Advent box. And we chose very definite winter, winter. theme. There were some beautiful Christmas sets we could have done, but... Not everybody does Christmas. Yes. So. so we just tried to stick with winter. Okay, this one I know is really dark, guys, but um, it's really sweet. I thought you could put it on like the back of a Valentine one. <laughs> it's two people kissing. And there you go, a little snowflake. So it is a set of eight stickers. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. I have some finishes. Hey, maybe if I actually get something framed, I could put then it on the back. Then you could do that, right? Okay, I've been trying to find just really quickly what I need. There it is. Okay. Um, okay. Let's so see you want to show them what is. you've been stitching on? I will in just one second. Just trying to get there. Um, so our friend Chloe, who is Miss Chloe. I always have to figure out exactly miss.chloe.s.w on Instagram is doing the summer solstice sal with her friend because they are in Australia and my chatty friends there I was trying to get it so you could just yeah they're they're gonna just chat so you could see the hashtag but I am going to be adding to it because I have been dying, as you know, to work on my summer ABCs from Little House Needleworks. And I have made massive progress. Katie had the one color I was missing. So I filled that in. And um, I have moved up a little more. So I am uh, finished. When I get through with this, the M is at the top of... It's at the top and the bottom of the page. I guess the N is the last full letter on my page so i have a picture here a big house and i have another picture up here awesome so, i'm pretty excited i think that's what i'm sticking with tonight as well i've already done my 25 7. are you just trying to stitch away the cold weather and hope that it doesn't come i i just am loving stitching on this and i feel like strike while the iron is hot <laughs> i have been stitching on peace up there it's number two by Blackbird Designs. Um, this is in the 2013 Just Cross Stitch ornament issue. Um, if you are interested in getting this issue or any past issues, um, I got this one from Valhalla Bee Farm in Lincoln, Nebraska um, when, we, when we just went to visit and check out the shop forever ago, it feels mm -hmm. like. Um, but they have a ton of back issues of Just Cross Stitch magazine. And I was able to sit down and flip through all of the the past um, specialty issues and you find some, some good some really good gems in there you found some cute hands-on design patterns yeah. too right yeah yeah so they had all sorts of things yeah so just a little if you're looking for something or if you're like there's that one issue that I wanted you could probably give them a call and they would probably be able to find it for you um and this is my progress so when I started today I did not get to stitch last night um, when I started today, all I had done was this little leaf in the corner here and a little bit of this light green um, across to over here. Um, so I put It mixes in, the two colors, yeah, right? So I put in all of the dark green vine and leaves today and um, everything else, all the letters, the house, all that, <laughs> all that today. It's kind of gibberish right now. And what fabric are you using? Um, I know you looked at it. Actually, I don't know. Fiber on a whim. No, it's um, needle oh. bling, but I don't know what color it is because I don't know what it came off of. Um, I just know it's needle bling and I don't have the sticker on here. Um, this is the same fabric as 
my plum street that I was stitching on, but this is the one that I cut the wrong size while we were on our chat. Uh. And so that's the only reason I know those are the same one is because um, I was able to salvage the piece and use it for this blackbird one. That's perfect. Yeah. And I know you showed me some fox and rabbit earlier, yes. too. Yes, and that's what I'm using for my Lizzie Kate one. And mine is, I should have said, this is 27 Count Simplicity Banding um, by Wichelt. And I am loving this. Um, it comes in different colors. I use the really pretty green for turtles all the way down and this blue for summer. And I have plans to use different colors for every single one of the ABC patterns. Okay. And I'm just going to tell you that last night um, I was working on my planner and figuring out the A, A to Z challenge for um, the the planner so if you don't know what it is um you are supposed to find a pattern that starts with every single letter of the alphabet um the only exception to that is x which can be anywhere in the title of your pattern like i may use playing with jacks by uh cricket collection and jacks is spelled j-a-x yes. and it's the one with all the pumpkins i have a blackbird that is tricks with an x tricks or treats i think i found two or three in my in my uh, whip list when I went through. But, but Katie's going to help you with Z. I am. If any of you are having a problem with Z, um, I happened to cross this last night and I thought I would pass it along. From the 2021 Just Cross Stitch Halloween ornament issue. I don't know if it's an ornament or just a Halloween issue. But um, please do not forget Zombie Frog. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> <laughs> How adorable. So I think I think he's going to be my Z. Um, and yeah. Now I'm going to say I have found uh, patterns that fit all of the letters. Um, but I, I don't necessarily have to stitch that pattern if I come across another one that fits that letter later on in the year. So if I find some other pattern that starts with Z and I really, really, really want to start it and I'm not feeling the zombie frog at that moment, I can swap it out. I don't, I don't have to stay with that. Mm -hmm. I just made my list of A to Z. I actually just took pictures and put them in an album on my phone. Um, I just made that, that list though, so that if I was getting down to it and was trying to complete that list, I would have a resource for myself to be mm -hmm. like, oh yeah, that starts with that. And I could, I could put some stitches in on that. Do you think that you'll get everything ready that you have on that list so that like kit it so that you could just grab it? Well, and I don't know. And that's, that's part of why I just said that was because I don't know if I, I would go ahead and kit zombie frog right now. Cause I don't think I'm going to stitch him right now. Um, I would probably put him on my list for like, 13 stitches of Halloween or something mm -hmm. like that and um, plan to so kick him then. So you still need then, a Z by that point? Yes. So, yeah. So that's kind of like the always planning brain mode for He's me. He's yeah. a fun one. So, but there you go. If you need a Z, zombie frog. Okay. And tomorrow's bag is the Dorothy bag. That's what Athena calls it because it's the blue The checkered. blue and white check yes. bag. Um, and... Then we, I, we just have three to go, you guys. With that, I'm going to say goodbye before we give away all the spoilers. Bye.